Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 3 from exercise 3.1, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the introduction, examples 1 to 3 and questions 1 to 2 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. So question number 3 from exercise 3.1, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables says, the cost of 2 kg of apples and 1 kg of grapes on a day was found to be rupees 160. After a month, the cost of 4 kg of apples and 2 kg of grapes is rupees 300. Represent the situation algebraically and graphically. Again, this question is similar to the question number 1 and 2 from the same exercise. So here we have apples and grapes. 2 kg of apples and 1 kg of grape was found to be rupees 160 on a day. And after a month, the 4 kg of apples and 2 kg of grapes was found to be rupees 300. So here we have to assume first the cost of 1 kg of apple and cost of 1 kg of grapes. So let us assume the cost of 1 kg of apple to be x rupees and 1 kg of grapes to be y rupees and then we will form the equation accordingly. So write down let the cost of 1 kg of apple be x rupees and similarly let the cost of 1 kg of grapes be y rupees. So now here since they have given us 2 kg of apples and 1 kg of grapes together was found to be rupees 160. So we will take 2 kg into cost per kg. Here cost per kg of apple is x. So we will take 2 into x plus 1 kg of grapes into cost of 1 kg of grapes is y. So we will take 1 into y is equal to the total cost of these two fruits was found to be rupees 160. Let us take this as equation number 1. Similarly, after a month, again, 4 kg of apples and 2 kg of grapes was bought for rupees 300. So we will take 4 into cost of 1 kg of apple that is x plus 2 into cost of 1 kg of grapes that is y. So we get 4x plus 2y together it is bought for rupees 300. Okay. So here if you observe this equation can be simplified further so that it is easier for us to find out the x and y values. So let us take two common outside from here. If you take two outside so 2 into 2 is 4. Take two common 2 is left behind 2 and x is left behind. Similarly here if you take two common y is left behind so close the bracket equal to 300. So let us send this 2 to the right hand side so it comes in division form 300 divided by 2 if you cancel 2 1 times carry 1 2 5 are 10 0 so we will get the equation as 2x plus y is equal to 150 so let us mark this equation as equation number 2 so this is how we have represented the situation algebraically so now let us represent the situation geometrically so for that let us consider the first equation that is from equation number 1 that is 2x plus y is equal to 160 one y can be written as either y or one y both are same so here let us find out equation for y by sending this 2x to the right hand side so y is equal to 160 minus 2x so let us substitute the value of x and find out the value of y here if we take here x equal to 0 then 2 into 0 will be 0 then y value will be 160 which is a very high value so let us assume x to be equal to 40 so therefore we will get y is equal to 160 minus 2 into 40 so that will be 160 minus 4 to the 8 it will be 80 so y value we will get as 160 minus 80 is 80 okay similarly let us take the x value as city so therefore we get y is equal to 160 minus 2 into 60 so how much is that 160 minus 6 to the 12 is 120 therefore 160 minus 120 will be 40 so let us draw a table for x equal to 40 we got y value as 80 and for x equal to 60 we got y value as 40 so here we have made sure that x and y value is not above 100 Otherwise, it will become difficult for us to plot the graph. So always remember to keep the values of x and y as low as possible. Now, similarly from equation 2, 
represent the situation geometrically equation number two is 2x plus y is equal to 150 again find out the value of y by sending this 2x to the right hand side we get 150 minus 2x so similarly let us substitute here x value equal to 40 let us see what is y value we get y equal to 150 minus 2 into 40 so that will be 150 minus 4 2 is 8 it is 80 so y value will be equal to 150 minus 80 it is 70 similarly let us substitute x value is equal to 60 so we get y is equal to 150 minus 2 into 60 is equal to 150 minus 6 into 2 is 12 so 150 minus 120 it is 30 so let us draw the table again for these values so for x equal to 40 we got y value as 70 and for x equal to 60 we got y value as 30 so always remember we can take any value as x and y it is not necessary that you have to take the same value as what i have taken but just make sure that the values are a smaller value so that it is easier to plot the graph so now let us plot the graph and represent the situation graphically so now let us plot the graph again by taking the x-axis and y-axis so from the table if you observe we have values in tens that is 40 60 and 80 and it is less than 100 so we will take the values on x-axis and y-axis from 10 to 80 and again on the y-axis we are taking plus 10 to 80 and minus 10 to 80 so now let us plot the graph for the equation that is equation number 1 2x plus 1y is equal to 160 where x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 80 on x-axis we have take 40 and on y-axis we should consider the value 80 so we get a point here so let us take this point as a at 40 comma 80 the next point is on x-axis it is 60 and on y-axis we have to move to 40 so we get a point here again let us take this point as b that is 60 comma 40 so draw a line intersecting these two points in this manner and let us name this line as representing the equation 2x plus 1y is equal to 160. Now similarly let us plot the second table for the equation 2x plus y is equal to 150. So again here on the x-axis it is 40 and on y-axis we have to take 70. So we get a point here. So let us take this point as p at 40 comma 70. Similarly the next point will be at x equal to 60 and y equal to 30. So at x equal to 60 and y equal to 30 we obtain a point here so let us name this point as u at 60 comma 30 so let us draw the line intersecting the points p and q which represents the equation 2x plus y equal 1 okay so this is how we plot the graph and represent the situation graphically if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be taking up the next section that is section 3.3 graphical method of a solution of a pair of linear equations from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc nsart math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen thank you